Good morning, everybody. I stayed up way too late. one of those days. I had stayed up a little bit too late last night and I was watching Westworld. Oh my goodness though. I like the show. It's interesting but it makes me feel kind of sad a little bit too. And it's got me wondering what if we are all like the Sims or something? <laughs> and I'm starting I'm starting to look at the Sims a little bit differently. When I play The Sims and I create characters, and even if I create characters that are like supposed to be bad guys or whatever, the thieves and snobs and just not nice people, even if I create those types of characters when I play The Sims, I still feel bad for them if something bad happens to them. Like, <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of strange. It's kind of strange. And, and then I, I want to make sure that they eat well and take care of themselves and all of that. Even if they're total jerks and they deserve to be treated poorly or something bad to happen to them. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. So I was just thinking when I was watching the West World, it's like they're a bunch of Sims and they have these personalities and lives that are sort of created for them and storylines and all of that. But it's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad and it makes you wonder. I haven't gotten very far in the show, so I don't really know what's going to happen, but yeah. But I wonder, does their creator feel the same way that I kind of do about the Sims that I make? I don't know. It's interesting. And then I wonder, what if we are all Sims? I mean, what if, what if we're all Sims and what if our creator feels the same way? Where even if we're bad guys, our creator still feels concern for us and all of that. It's kind of funny because I play the Sims because I like building houses. And uh, I do use the mother load cheat code because I want all my sims to be billionaires. Okay, not not billionaires, but 
they are millionaires. I don't want my Sims to struggle. I don't want them to go without food and all of the things they need in their house that don't break down all the time and, you know, they need some extra space in the house or whatever. <laughs> Maybe some nice furniture to sit on that's comfortable. I don't know. It's kind of silly <laughs> to think about a game like that. I do have a lot of fun playing The Sims though. And I like creating the characters and picking out their clothes and things like that. And I really enjoy building houses and making secret rooms. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. I wanted this one to be a short video today. So I'm going to try to make it five minutes. We'll see if that happened or not. So it'd be like a, a fast five Saturday. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it, but I'll try. Okay, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. You guys take care out there and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.